If you have ever been interested or intrigued by what's at Aldi's, but you're just used to your normal grocery, stay tuned and I'm getting ready to show you. Yeah, what then to show you. Remember, stay tuned to the end as well and I will show you everything I actually got from Aldi's. I'll break down prices for you and most of everything here is plant-based so it's great to see what's new at Aldi's and get some new ideas and inspiration for your plant-based journey. Also, if you need a little weeknight plant-based dinner inspiration, that's coming at you strong. But first, let's get through our Monday morning routine. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna run right up this hill. Summer sky or winter chill. If I gotta take a break, I will. This hill. I want to hold the whole wide world right here in my open hands. And maybe I'm just a little girl, a little girl with great big plans. I'm gonna go and take a chance. I'm gonna learn to ballet dance, learn a little something about rap. Take a chance I'm gonna live a crazy dream Impossible as it may seem Doesn't matter what the future brings I'm gonna live a crazy dream Is Lila awake? <gasps> Is Lila awake? These little rugrats slept in my bed last night. What did you guys do last night? It was not very comfortable because you guys took up from here all the way to like right here. Daddy slept right here, and I slept down here sideways. <laughs> what are you girls doing? All right, so it is 2.30 and I have finally got the kids all to sleep. I ended up having to lay with the big girls to get them down. 
I'm having some iced coffee. And I don't know if you can hear in my voice, but my voice is kind of like strained. I did, um, I visited a CrossFit gym this weekend and I did the workout Murph, which is like a one mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 burpee, or 300 squats, and then another mile. I have never felt so exhausted in my life. <laughs> like, I feel like I cannot. My upper body does not feel like it's part of my body and like I'm so just like drained still from that that it's literally even made my voice sound different. So I have not been very motivated today and all I have really done was I got breakfast done, lunch out of the way, and I did actually prep a little bit for dinner. Um, I do plan on going grocery shopping tonight and I'm taking you guys with me to Aldi's. It's not going to be a really big Aldi haul, but I am going to show you um, some of the stuff that I normally pick up. Um, and this is going to be about a week's worth of food. So, yeah. Alright, so the babies and Emmy are up from naps. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. Say hi. <laughs> Don't pull her hair. I'm gonna hop in the shower and then um, I think Frankie's not getting off till 5.30. So we're, I'm gonna wait till it's closer to then and we're gonna load up and head to the grocery store to do a little bit of shopping at Aldi's and he will actually meet us there because I'm not really in that stage of life yet where I'm ready to do full on grocery shopping by myself. If it was necessary, I would, but he works in Lumberton. That's where all these is at. So we're going to meet up, get a little bit of grocery shopping done. Um, also, I'm probably going to have to give the kids a snack. We will not be eating dinner until we get home. Emmy, stop <laughs> Emmy, get starving. <gasps> What's wrong? Um, so we'll do a snack and I'll show you guys. Come sit on my lap. So anyway, I so I'll definitely be making sure that everybody gets a snack before we leave because we will not be eating dinner till we get home so yeah I'll kind of show you guys the process of what it takes to get ready to go grocery shopping or get ready to take the kids in there, to be honest it's, it's a little bit yes I'm still using a shop back to vacuum my house come on Daisy let's get dressed shower just while I was getting the babies ready just to kind of keep them entertained and out of the way I now have the babies ready and I'm about to grab the big girls clothes and then we are loaded up Y'all loaded up. 
No, well, I'm not leaving you, Emmy. I don't put their shoes on until we get to our destination because in the process of getting them all buckled up and getting ready, they always seem to lose their shoes or they take them off in the car. So I have stopped putting their shoes on until we get there. And if I put them in the stroller, I might not even um, put their shoes on at all. You ready? Go get in the car. Buckle up, okay? So one thing that really helps me with getting everybody ready to go is to go ahead and buckle all the kids in the car because then they're locked in there and they can't move. And then I go back in the house and I get everything that I need because trying to grab everything with them or trying to remember everything while I'm trying to get them out the door is insane. So now I gotta go back and grab everything. Also, I always keep drinks with us wherever we go. Their shoes are in the bag because like I said, I don't put them on them. And then I always have a snack. Um, and then I bring, because we are doing all these, they don't have shopping bags, so I always bring my bags as well. Okay, let's do this. What's our favorite grocery store? Aldi. Aldi's. <laughs> Even the kids know. We got approximately 200 yards, and then I realized I didn't have the grocery list, so now we're going back. Welcome to Aldi. So this is where I do my weekly grocery shopping. I used to come here and Walmart, but I have pretty much streamlined my grocery shopping list and I pretty much just come to Aldi now. Aldi does carry some name brands, but I actually prefer purchasing their brands because back in 2018, they completely removed all artificial preservatives and food colorings from all of their brands. It makes it a lot easier when I'm reading labels and just trying to discern what's good and what's not. It's all this selling kit, kit cans where you have to break them apart and there's two. Give me that stuff. One of my favorite things about Aldi's is their produce. They have such a great selection of what I consider to be um, produce essentials. And also the quality of their produce is I, it's amazing. Aldi's is also very trendy. So if there's something going around, they typically will catch on and offer those products within their store. So right now they have kombucha and they have all these cold pressed juices as well as like pomegranate juices. So I think that's really awesome. Aldi's also offers a organic produce section. And the last time I was actually doing a price comparison, the organic apples at Aldi's were the same price as the non-organic at Food Line. So they really do have great competitive prices. Aldi's typically beats out everybody on their prices of their avocados as well. I think today they were 95 cents, but I've actually seen them as low as 49 cents per avocado. And when they did that, um, run that promo, they actually limited you to like five avocados or something like that. But yeah, Aldi's has great price comparisons and it's not like they're giving up their quality of their food in order to have those competitive prices. Aldi's is able to have competitive pricing on their products for a few reasons. One of those reasons is the fact that for an Aldi to be fully staffed, I think they only have like three employees on the clock at all times. Another way to save money is by people bringing in their own bags or charging for bags, which is honestly really environmentally friendly as well as um, cutting costs for them to actually be purchasing those bags. With them having a lower staff, you actually have to put a quarter to get your cart and that requires you to bring your cart back so they do not have to have somebody there just to walk around the parking lot and pick up carts. Speaking of having great prices, if you're still hesitant and not sure how great uh, all these prices are, go price some organic raw sugar at your local grocery store and then come here. They have the best prices. Also, I get my flax seeds, my chia seeds, and my hemp seeds from here as well. And they've started offering um, this almond flour. I'm not uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the consistency. It's a little too grainy for me. But if you are gluten-free, this is a great alternative. They also have a great selection of different specialty items like marinated olives, 
or different hummus, um, guacamole, pico de gallo, anything that you would need to just grab something and go maybe to a party or a, a family gathering. This is a great place to just stop in for those quick go-to snacks. The most fun part about Aldi's is going down the seasonal aisle because you find all kinds of really cool household items um, or just different seasonal items. And they also have some really cool different food options on this aisle. So um, today I saw they had some black bean panne. They also had this cauliflower ready to go meals. Um, and they also have all kinds of different juices. So if you're still on the fence about Aldi's, I'll be there. I'll be the one to push you off the fence right into the Aldi parking lot with your little quarter to go get your cart and bring all your little reusable bags and save tons of money on your groceries. I love all these and it's such a funny joke for us because anytime I have like a cooking class or have people over, they always say, oh, where'd you get this? And everybody laughs and says, all these because this is my shop. I love it. So if you have never been, make sure you go. All right, that was honestly so exhausting and super awkward. <laughs> like having Frankie walk around in the grocery store recording me but you know, it is what it is. So let me show you everything that we got. All right, so I will start with the produce. I got some jalapenos, some radishes, some mushrooms. The kids love these little halo cuties. So we got those. Bananas. This is, this is actually not a week's worth of bananas. We'll probably have to stop and get more of those. Um, some cucumbers. These are the little mini English cucumbers. I like these the best just because it's like a single serving cucumber versus having to cut the whole thing and then try to put it in the fridge. Um, cantaloupe and we kind of like avocados a little bit around here. So all of these avocados. Some carrots, um, bell pepper, some blueberries, some baby spinach. Two heads of cauliflower, some coriander or cilantro, um, some green onion, some sugar snap peas. If your kids are picky and you have a hard time getting them to eat vegetables, I highly recommend trying these. All of my kids love these. Um, so then we'll get into some of the carbs here. So I have been trying to find a substitute for regular pasta and I did not like chickpea or black bean, but I really like this red lentil. Um, so I went ahead and got three boxes of this. You can eat some. Go ahead. Okay, hold on. Let me see. There you go. Don't drop them, okay? All right. Um, I also went ahead and got some maple syrup. I also got some almond milk. I've really been slacking lately with making the cashew milk. Um, but also, we haven't really been drinking a lot of milk. So I haven't felt too bad about it. But yeah, these two will last probably a week, maybe a week and a half. They had this deliciousness to, again today. Um, so they brought this back. So garbanzo beans, coconut oil, water, coconut milk, um, organic turbinado, sugar, unsweetened cocoa powder, vanilla extract, sea salt, and non-dairy bait. Anyway, this is really delicious. Also, this is not there all the time either, but these apple cinnamon straws are bomb. So I actually got three bags and this one's almost gone already just from the car ride. All right, I got this bread and I keep my bread in the freezer, but this is a really great bread. Um, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients in it. Unfortunately, it does have sugar still, um, organic wheat flour, organic sprouted whole, wa whole wheat water, organic cane sugar, cultured wheat flour, yeast, sea salt. Um, we don't eat a ton, ton of bread, but that's a really great option there. Um, and then corn chips, uh, we got tor the multigrain, yellow corn, and blue corn. Also, a super treat that I love that Aldi's has is this dark chocolate sea salt granola. This stuff is gangster. So I got two bags of that. And then these are new to Aldi. It's these cauliflower crackers. These are so delicious and even the kids love them and the macros on them are amazing. So that's great. And then of course we got some toilet paper and I actually buy diapers and wipes from there. So stocked up on that. And I know that this is a plant-based haul, but I, we do not always eat hundred percent plant-based. So I wanted to show you the two things that I got that were not plant-based. Um, this is a quick, I'm not stopping to grab something to eat, but the kids are hungry. Let me throw some broccoli in it and call it healthy. 
these are emergencies really like this is not like a staple thing but within like two weeks we might eat both of these or a week depending on the week and then eggs um we'll go through about a um a carton of the eggs in i would say a week and a half we don't eat them a lot but i have incorporated them for the kids um mainly for the babies because i'm really just worried about them developing allergies to eggs by not having them at all um and i know that might seem like not the best like way of thinking but this is pretty much the only cheats that we have for everything and that's just me being open and honest about it all but yeah so this is everything that we got from all these and the total cost, drum roll, $113.94. If I had gotten all of this at a regular grocery store, I'm sure it would have been close to, I would say, $170, maybe $180. Um, so yeah, that was our Aldi haul. So this is the finished product. Some lentil mac and cheese and a big salad. Cause I haven't been getting enough greens in lately. And this salad has tons of stuff. Pumpkin seeds, fresh jalapeno, cilantro, onion, um, cabbage, cucumbers, radishes. It has baby kale, baby spinach, and romaine lettuce. I'm not sure what dressing I'm gonna use yet, but this is going to be dinner after a long day of grocery shopping. Just kidding, not too bad. Ollie's is the best. <laughs> Comment down below what's your favorite thing at Ollie's. <laughs> Let's have toys at Ollie's. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you Okay. Bye. No, it goes bye.